Hi, we're Audrey and Bob, and we love married life, even at Christmas. Especially at Christmas. It's true. Merry Christmas, everyone. We wish you a very Merry Christmas. Audrey and I, we've been married now over 31 years. Back in 1984, that's several decades yeah. now. <laughs> we have uh, four beautiful children, plus one that's now married in, dear Tessa. So we've got five children and growing. No grandkids yet. But what we found is that when we first got married, we had different traditions. Right. You know, we had different uh, things that we'd love to do at Christmas. And things that were important to us because when you grow up and you do things a certain way, it's so important to you because this is Christmas. This is how we do it in my family. Well, those formative years as a I child, know. It's you like, know, those are the things that you remember. So here's the question. When do you open your gifts? Do you open them Christmas Eve or do you oh, wait, wait, wait for Christmas morning? <laughs> That's a really big deal. It's you know, a, hey, we had that one together. It's for sure Christmas, Christmas morning. Well, if you really love Jesus, you do it Christmas <laughs> morning. <laughs> the thing is, is though, is that we had so many things that were similar but there are things that were so different. And then we get expectations from in-laws of where are we gonna be for Christmas. It's kinda of like a setup, you know? So we wanna set you up for success and for joy and for peace. Yeah, but because that's what Christmas is good. all about. Okay, but just recognize that you're different. Yeah. When Audrey and I first were married, we thought we were exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, and, we did. And, and I think we were yeah, more we, than, we, than we, now. We, we quickly found out that we had a different idea of what, it clean, took a what while. clean was. You know, yeah, what clean was. I guess I'm medium clean. And How to he's discipline like your children. Yeah. yeah. What is on time. Yes, all of those kinds of things. But you recognize that you're very different from each other. Right. But our differences, they don't need to be the thing that's going to drive a wedge right. between your intimacy. But our differences need to be a gift rather than a weapon that we yeah. would use against one another. And you know what? Your entire married life can change around if you get this one concept. Because if I want Bob to be just like me, then one of us is not necessary. You see, Bob has gifts that I know it's profound. I know I'm not usually the profound one. It's usually him. Okay, let's give an example. Of what? Of, of how we're different from each no, other. No, we're not going to do that right now. Oh, okay. She wants to. But yeah. the, I, I, something I want to share with you, because uh, in our one of our other videos, we talked about my mom. Right. And I, I thought I'd bring up another story. We got lots of Grandma Mary stories. <laughs> And one of them, she was visiting again, and we were living in the snowy north right. and uh, driving around, and it's fun to fishtail. Well, Bob you know loves what I mean? like, having fun with the car. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that so there's a I'm, lot of marriage issues just with driving? Like, people get really mad at each other. Lots of Guys them. hate it when women keep, you know, no, stop, stop, right. I'm scared. Okay, so... I remember one Christmas morning, we had just had <laughs> our, my family tradition, our family traditions yeah. in our home. Now her, her parents were just waiting, calling. Are right. you coming yet? Have you left yet? Something when will you be here? Is we've made it all about us for Christmas morning. And then at, after about lunchtime, then we'll get together. We got to show else. up right. quick, real but, soon. But there's something about Bob and I, we're different in a lot of ways, but in the same ways, we both don't mind being crazy in the car. Like, it's, I don't... Well, it's not crazy. It's just kind of fun. Well, like, I don't mind if you get crazy like fish it's tailing because it's fun. adventure. Right. We adventure. both love adventure. So we yeah. have our three children. They're all bundled in with grandma <laughs> right. in our little car. Now, this year I had an old... I mean, it was an old Subaru. Red yeah. Subaru. Yeah. Like Santa's sleigh. Right. And I... and But with this Subaru... It was a four by four. I'd never had one of those before. That's why you were so excited. And so it's like, you know, I wanted to use the four by four as much as I could. And, and there wasn't very much traffic that day. None, because Christmas right. morning, but it had snowed the night before. So there were a lot of snow drifts, snow banks, <laughs> that kind of thing. So here we are on to Audrey's parents from our home. Right. And my mom and the kids are in the back and I'm hitting he every snow fun. bank, every drift we that I can. We and are we're laughing. And we're laughing. We're going in circles. My mom's not too crazy no, about this right not, now. She's not loving this. And I see a nice big one and it's like, I can really make it through this one. And so <laughs> I get, I think I get a little cheer from the back seat. Yeah. And so I hit this one and I just... <laughs> Yeah, I landed right on top of it, and it just sat there. Right. It didn't sink to the bottom where the tires could grip and get some traction. Right. We were stuck. Right. 
it's just fun. I remember afterwards, your mom got really mad and said, Bob, I don't want you doing any of this anymore. You are not allowed to be crazy. You and Audrey, one of you needs to be the adult, you know? Oh. And so anyway, I remember we were... But recognize... But you remember you did one by accident and you heard it from the back seat. I felt that. Like you were on... Yeah, remember. Yeah. It was funny. Yeah. So those Love are those parents. are some of the family things. But recognize also, okay, I, I say recognize that you're a gift. Recognize yes. that you that you see things differently. Because it can either drive you crazy or make you love someone more. I mean, right. you literally have the choice of which yeah. direction this is going to go. I wish you would see things more the way that I see them. Because and, too often we view that um, if you're not seeing it my way, or if you're not coming along with you, my traditions or, or my customs or, or with my cultures, all of a sudden they feel a little devalued. Yeah, like this was important to me yeah, to do it this it's way. it's important to you. Or it's but important for me not to drive. Not so important for me. Or important for me, your mom, to drive the car safe. You know, like that's a thing. Will you that's value real. one another? Mm -hmm. Will you prefer one another? Or are you just going to say, no, I'm just going to be me? Again, your I'm going choice. to be me. And that meanness is It's a not going to bring a lot sometimes. of joy and peace over Christmas. It's can not Can we do the thing I was good. talking about? You can do your okay. thing. This is just such a great visual for this. Okay, so we're sitting here. And let's say, pretend for a little while, that we've got the snowy mountains over here. And we're in California. We're not. But pretend we're in California. The snowy mountains over here. And we're actually in our house right now. But the sea is over there. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're in, in our, our house. house. Okay, so now turn this way a little bit. All right. And now we're going to show you what happens. Oftentimes, this is how I can only see what's in front of me. I can't see from the back of my head. I can only see what's in front of me. So if there's something that we're making a decision, there's something, I'll just describe everything that I see from my point of view. For instance, Bob, you should now see the mountains that I see right now. They are so awesome. They're like, they've got snow on top of them. There's pine trees. There's hiking trails. I mean, the mountains are the best. They are literally the way we should go. Like, this is amazing. Are you laughing at me? No. Hey, you're supposed to be looking that way. Okay, go. But I see the sea and I see the ocean and the sand and I love the ocean and the sand and the sea. No, 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 no. You may think that, but you haven't seen mine. You can't see what I see. You cannot see what I see. All right, all right. Okay, so you see what happens? You get the idea here. But what happened? But, okay, go ahead. But I want her to see things that are important to me because this is all that I saw. All that I could see was the ocean. All I could see was the sea and the sand and the shoreline. And I thought it was the best ever. So what would happen is if I was, you don't have to, but I am going to do it. Okay. I, if I sat that way and I actually stopped talking, which is a modern day miracle. And I said, actually, I'm just going to go ahead. I can only see this, Bob. But if, if I'll just stop and listen, just tell me everything. Just paint the picture for me of what you see. And then maybe I can begin to see it through your eyes. Even though I can't physically see it, I'll be able to see it through your eyes. And then when he starts to describe the ocean and the beach, it's like I'm experiencing it for myself. And all of a sudden, I get to have the gift of seeing things through your eyes. We are a gift to yeah. one another. You are a gift to your spouse. I recognize that I now have a 360 point of view if I'm willing to listen and value what my wife is able to offer me. She brings great traditions. She brings great culture. I and mean, Bob, I love what Bob brings to Christmas. I mean, he prays with the kids and he tells that story to the kids and, and he makes things really memorable and he makes, it's like I Bob, like making memories. You know what? My mom gave me that one. She does. She loves making memories. But it's memories. almost like Bob knows how to make a moment. Like it gets <laughs> like, it turns, it turns like, I like crazy and all of a sudden he turns it into a moment. But we've gotten, we're really enjoying loving married life together. We want you two to do. If you're, to a, do, if to you, do. <laughs> if you're a young family yeah. with young children, begin to talk husband and wife and begin to establish traditions. Traditions are good. Things that you look forward to. That things are that are unique. You, guys. Mm -hmm. you know, that identify you as a family, as a couple. This is who we are. This is what we believe. And this is what is important to us. And recognize that you are a gift. You're my present. You're my present. See, there you go. It's, it's, it's that cheesy. It's, it is. It is. <laughs> we love married life together, yeah. especially at Christmas time.
and we want you to as well. We wish you peace and joy. Merry Christmas.